Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. When I say the words BHA liquid exfoliant, I'm sure that there are two very popular toners that come to mind. This is one from Naturium and one from Paula's Choice. Now, I am fortunate to be able to have both. One was gifted and one was purchased. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my thoughts and comparisons on both of these. As soon as I posted this on Instagram, you guys were asking for a comparison between the two and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. As always, to disclose, I am not a licensed dermatologist nor am I a cosmetic formulator. I am a little brown skin girl who loves skincare and loves sharing this passion with you guys for entertainment purposes and as perhaps a jumping off point for you to do your own research as well. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha Adams and I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, hair videos if that sounds like something that you're interested in then make sure you are subscribed and without further ado let's get started let's start off with an overview of everyone's favorite Paula's Choice liquid 2% BHA exfoliant so on their website this product retails for $29.50 Canadian dollars it comes with four ounces of product this product claims to clear and minimize enlarged pores. It has BHA that sheds the buildup um, on the layers of your skin. It is lightweight in texture and absorbs quickly, and you're supposed to use it twice daily um, after cleansing and toning. Now, in comparison, the one from Notorium on their website says that this retails for $20. This is American, $20 American. It comes with four fluid ounces, 120 milliliters. This is a leave-on exfoliate formulated with an effectuous level of encapsulated, sorry, this is so far, my eyes cannot see. Let me zoom in here. Encapsulated salicylic acid and bioactive fruit acids to unclog the pores, even skin tone, smooth fine lines, wrinkles for a healthier, more radiant looking complexion. So that is the company's description of the two. So based on the company's descriptions of the product, they essentially do the exact same thing. Um, they both have salicylic acid, they both have 2%, which is, I believe, the highest form of BHA that you can have that's effective for your skin. Um, they both brighten, they both smooth out wrinkles, they both with pores, all that good stuff. They are pretty much identical in the, the company's description. This one is going to be a little bit more expensive. Actually, in terms of the price, which one is more expensive? Because actually, this one is in Canadian funds, this one is in USD. So if we do the conversion, USD conversion, this one is listed in USD. It's only available in America right now, but when it is available in Canada, if we do the conversion, as of today, this is August 24th, this would be conversion of 2646 Canadian. It's about $27. So there's a $3 difference between the two. In terms of quantity, they both are four fluid ounces, but milliliters specifically, this is 120 milliliters, and this one is 118. So this one's a little bit less in terms of quantity. It's not really that big of a difference, but in case you were wondering. Now let's talk about packaging. So as we are aware, this one is a smaller bottle than this one is. However, Notorium does have more product in it. By a little bit, but still more product. Um, this one has a nice gray sleek bottle. It has a turn off cap and it has your generic um, dispenser at the top. Okay. I also do love that the bottle is opaque. I believe that your products should be more opaque, to be honest, in terms of um, the packaging because it does protect it against light. Now, BHA specifically is not really light sensitive, so it's okay if it's in a clear bottle, but I do love the thought process behind the opaque one. It just makes it look more mature. Now, Notoriums obviously does have a tinted but clear bottle. And like I said before, BHA isn't really light sensitive when it's in a product, like not talking about your face, but like when it's in the actual product, it's not really that light sensitive, so that's fine. It does have a cap on the top, which I think is really cool in terms of the dispensing bottle. We usually see toners like this. It's nice to have a cap, all right? And it dispenses quite easily as well. They both dispense quite nicely, regardless if you're putting it in your hand or if you're putting it on a cotton round. They're both perfect that way. Um, in terms of packaging, which one do I like more? Um, I feel like Paula's Choice reminds me more like clinical packaging. I think clinical is not the right word. More like mature packaging, how it looks more like um, luxurious and a little bit more elegant. It's a little bit higher end in terms of the pricing, so that does make sense. Notorium is more of 
like I feel like it gives off this air of being accessible. It's um, their brand really stands for being more natural, being more clean and environmentally conscious and all that kind of stuff. And it does show in the packaging. Now, although I do love both of these packagings so much, I will have to go with the Paula's Choice one because I personally prefer things that look a little bit more elegant, a little bit more high end. I'm bad and bougie, okay? Let's talk about texture. They are both very lightweight so that there's no questions there. With Paula's Choice, you're gonna find that this one is gonna soak into your skin really, really quickly. This one is not really gonna give you any type of extra hydration. It's not gonna feel velvety. It's gonna just feel like what you need it to be. The one from Notorium is also very lightweight. However, I will say that it reminds me more of an essence than just a regular toner because it does have a lot of hydrating ingredients. They feature this encapsulated technology that does help it to just function more gently on your skin and you can absolutely see that with the texture. They're both liquid by all means, but this one reminds me more of an essence. I kind of like the texture of this one a little bit better. The reason being because once again, I like my skin to look more hydrated and plump when I'm done. I don't want it to look more dry and receded. Not that this is gonna dry your skin, but I just like to have a little bit more um, moisture to my skin. I love how this feels. It makes me feel like I'm putting on both an essence and an acid um, toner in one. Where these products actually differ is the ingredients. So let's take a look at them. So first, the Paula's Choice ingredient list. One thing that these brands do very well is they actually have a lot of information there. A lot of information about what the products do, what the ingredients do, and Notorium actually says where they're sourced as well, which is nice. They're both very informative. Paula's Choice does have this ingredient dictionary, and so if you're someone not only looking at her products, you can even just learn more about ingredients and how they work. With Notorium, it is more focused on how her products themselves are sourced, which is really in informative, and I think that's really nice that they added. They kind of differ in that way, but they both are very educational, which I love. Um, Paula's Choice ingredient list, the first thing is water. Then we have methyl propanadol, which is a hydrator. Um, butylene glycol, which is once again hydrator, very good hydrating ingredients for your skin. Then the third ingredient is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is at 2%, like the bottle says, so everything under that is below 2%. So we have the exfoliator, then we have polysorbate as a stabilizer. We have Camilla leaf. This is green tea. It's a great antioxidant. It's going to calm down your skin. Very small ingredient list. It's literally just going to give you that BHA, maybe a little bit of oil control, and the antioxidant to protect against free radical damage. So it does say what it says it's going to do. And it has some of those really good hydrators to help with the ease of delivery to make sure that the BHA doesn't really dry out your skin. Salicy salicylic acid can be quite reactive to some people, especially if it's something that you don't quite use a lot or you haven't really used a lot of acids. It can be a little bit drying. It can be a little bit um, sensitizing to some people, but it's nice that it has that green tea in there. Let's look at Naturium. First, we have water, same as Paula's Choice. Butylene glycol, the exact same. We have propenadoil, another type of propenadoil, still a hydrator. And the fourth ingredient, once again, is salicylic acid. So pretty much the first ingredients, the heavy ingredients in this product are pretty much exactly the same. Salicylic acid is at 2%, so everything under that is under 2%. Next we have sodium polyacrylate. This is a thickener or an emollient. This is probably what's helping with that texture to make it feel like more of an essence than just a regular toner. It's what's giving it that moisturizing quality. Really good ingredient there. Um, then we have citric acid. This can be used as both a pH adjuster as well as a AHA, because citric acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. Then we have glycerin, we have diglycerin, so more humectants, more hydrators. There's three fruit extracts in there, okay? These are other AHAs as well, which is gonna help to give you more of that exfoliation on the top layer of your skin. So like I said, not only is this gonna be a BHA, this is also an AHA for the surface of your skin too. Paula's Choice is more focused on like the antioxidants and soothing ingredients. Um, to make up for how strong the product is. Notorium's is more focused on the ease of the wear as well as exfoliating the top layer of your skin. It's more focused maybe on brightening and this is more focused maybe on the calming aspect. Let's talk about which one I like better. This is a very difficult question because I love both of these products so much as obviously I've been saying before. 
on the surface, they may seem like very similar products. They are still quite different. For Paula's Choice, I've actually been using this BHA for about six to eight months personally, um, especially when my skin was a little bit more problematic. And for Notorium, I've been using this for, I think, a little bit over a month now. So four, four and a half weeks or so, uh, some, something around that time frame. So I've been using them for a decent amount of time to be able to see which one I like better or just, you know, how they function. Um, and what I will say is that Paula's Choice BHA is a very, very strong exfoliator. This is a product with like no nonsense. If you really want an exfoliator for your skin, this is it. If you're someone who has never used BHA before, this is absolutely going to make you purge. It may make you break out, it may make you purge. Now it does have to get worse before it gets better, but I do wanna let you know this is a very powerful exfoliator. This is a true treatment product. And a lot of Paula's Choice products are very treatment focused. Paula's Choice has been around for years. It's been a cult favorite for years. And that is because they work. But I do love how informative Paula's Choice is. And that is definitely somewhere where I want to put my money. I want to put my money into a brand that educates its consumers, that is simple, comprehensible, and that works. The one from Notorium is also a treatment product, but I believe that this one is more for people with maybe drier skin, maybe normal to dry skin, as well as um, people with sensitive skin. If you have very sensitive skin, you react to everything, you are going to love this because this will not be very harsh on your skin and it's still going to be highly effective. It is going to give you a multi-layer exfoliation while still being extremely gentle. So which one do I like better? I'm going to have to say Notorium. I believe that there is a market for both of them and there are people that will gravitate to both of them for different reasons. For right now, Notorium is not available in Canada, so I will still be purchasing this one. But once it is available in Canada, this one will be my holy grail because I do like it a lot better. So those are my thoughts on the two BHAs. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Leave them down below. Have you tried any of them? What are your opinions? I would love to know. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. And stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my very next video.